Problem number nine. If 27 to the x power is equal to 243 to the 18th power, what is the value of the fifth root of 3 raised to the x power? Now you can try solving this problem by using your calculator and getting the value of 243 to the 18th power. But that's not what you're really being tested on on this question. You're really being tested on how to manipulate exponents, and that is what we're, gonna, what we're going to do. Now let's look at 27 first. I could represent uh, 27 knowing that it's a multiple of 3 as 3 to the third power, right, raised to the x exponent. And that's going to be equals 2. Now, Sam, I know I was able to write 27 as a as a, a power of 3. I am suspicious that 243 is also a multiple of 3, and I will also be able to express it in, in, in terms of exponents. So, so far we know that 3 to the third power is 27, right? 3 to the fourth power is equal to 81, and 3 to the fifth power is equal to, that's right, 243. So I can rewrite 243 as 3 to the fifth power, and this is raised to the 18th power. Now, let's see. Now, to simplify, to get the same base on both sides, when you have an exponent raised to an exponent, all you have to do is multiply the two exponents, right? So I have 3 to the 3 times x, that just equals to 3x, equals to, I'm going to do the same thing over here, 5 times 18. And I'm not going to carry on with the multiplication. I'm just going to leave it like that, 5 to the 18th, uh, for the purpose of uh, simplifying the solution here. I don't want to do anything that I'm going to end up uh, simplifying later on. So let's just leave it like that. Right, so now I have now that I have the base here and the base here three, I can make the exponents equal to each other. So I have three x is equal to five times eighteen. Now I'm gonna need a little more working space, so I just let me create the working space over here. Okay, so I have three x equal to five times eighteen. Just write 3x is equal to 5 times 18. I can divide both sides by 3. The 3 cancels. Divide this side also by 3. So I know, you see why I didn't want it to multiply over here the 5 times the 18? Because I already anticipating a step ahead. I know that 3 goes into 18. 3 into uh, 3 goes one time. 3 into 18 goes 6 times. So this simplifies to x is equal to 6 times 5, and that is equal to 30. So now I know what is uh, x equal to. Now the question is, what is the value of the fifth root of 3 raised to the x power? So remember, roots are fraction exponents. So if I want to get the fifth root of 3, I can rewrite that as 3 to the 1 fifth, right? And now the question is, uh, I have the fifth root of 3 raised to the x power. So it's the fifth root of 3 raised to the x power, so that means that this 3 to the 1 fifth, it's raised to the x power. So that is equal to 3 to the fifth power, and I already know that x is equal to 30, so it's 3 to the fifth power to the 1 fifth power to the 30th power. So now I can just simplify, remember exponents, when you have an exponent raised to an exponent, just multiply the exponents, so I can just say 1 fifth times 30. I can simplify here the 5 into 30. 5 into 5 goes 1 time, 5 into 30 goes 6 times. So this is all equal, the expression evaluates to 3, right? We have the 3 the base, and we calculated the 1 fifth to the third power here, it's equal to 6. So the exponent is 3 to the 6. So let's look at the answers, and our answer here is letter C, 3 to the 6th power.